y'all do, folks. Uh, we're out here today scouting out uh, the, the rest of the Section 3 goat loop uh, down here at the Vesuvius Iron Furnace. Um, beautiful area down here. It's, it's early March, so uh, we're not that far away from warm temperatures. I feel like it's been a, uh, a long winter, but, but uh, just really excited to have you guys out with me and I'll show you a little bit about what I do and how I scout things and tools that I use so maybe that you can go scout your own route but let's uh, let's hit the trail and we'll uh, taking out the uh, we're taking the Tacoma today it's behind me so let's uh, let's hit the trail all right so we just went past uh, Painters Creek Road there and we're kind of right by where the goat loop splits off from the main route. So kind of what I'm doing today is just kind of putting the finishing touches on the goat loop here. All right, so this is Telegraph Hill Road and we're just past where the, where the goat loop splits off uh, from section three so that's a real fun section through there by the way so what i'm doing today is just kind of putting the finishing touches on the loop my friend jay with local route adv put out um, a video about when we came down here the first time and did the test loop so give that a watch if you if you haven't and what i'm trying to figure out is if this is the best way to get back down to that really cool road that I like, which we'll check that out here in a little bit, but oh boy, I didn't anticipate that. Um, okay, yeah, so, so scouting routes. Uh, so I use basically uh, three main sources of, of maps uh, to uh, scope things out so uh, firstly I use Gaia um, I know there's Onyx stuff like that but um, I'm just kind of a kind of a Gaia fan uh, so I use Gaia and then I'll also use uh, some of the uh, USGS topo maps as well uh, those provide pretty nice overview of the area and then honestly what I do um, at home is I'll just get on Google Earth and I'll just look down and see if the road looks cool um, I can kind of tilt the thing you know down as well to um, to see you know, kind of the hills and, and the topography and, and all that. But really the last part is just kind of what we're doing here is just getting down here and exploring. So uh, this is definitely pretty sweet little road um, as well. Wow, yeah, this is, this is great. I'm, I'm really liking this road so far.
So this is another spot that I wanted to check out today. So we're now in the Crown City Wildlife Area and there was a road that I was looking at before when we took our trip here, but it was actually blocked off. Um, I took a little bit of a closer look, Google Earth, just kind of scoped it out. And we're about to head down uh, this slalom road, Silom, Silom Road. And it uh, looks like there's a little connector road that we can get up to filling a road. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this works because it looks like a really cool road. Uh, then that would take us over to 218, and then we could pop back down to our regularly scheduled programming there on the uh, <laughs> the first loop that I designed. But um, all right, let's go check it out. Well, I am really glad that that worked out. Um, you just never know when something's going to be too rutted out or uh, or just closed or, or whatnot. But um, yeah, I am really glad that worked out. That was definitely probably the highlight of my day. So uh, really the only other thing I got to do is just kind of check out the the end of the route so we're gonna hit some pavement here um, just kind of skedaddle over to Mounts Branch Road I think it is yep and then uh, we'll finish out the route yeah, it's looking like some pretty new pavement back here pretty new pavement That's the thing that kind of stinks about what we do is, I mean, more and more roads are getting paved, you know, especially uh, all this COVID money that all the local governments got. It's, um, you know, there's gone to, to paving roads and making improvements, um, which is obviously good for people as a whole but just kind of stinks for our style of riding I mean if it's gonna if it has to be pavement it might as well be this pavement I mean look at look at this Man, I'm just trying to keep it together easy to miss oh boy that was a drop-off <laughs> found 
on the pavement. Okay, so uh, that was the goat loop uh, for section three, and uh, we definitely, definitely had some really, really awesome spots on our little scouting trip here. Um, we also hit a little bit more pavement than I wanted to at the end, so uh, maybe I can shore that up a little bit. I know it gets, it gets tough the, the closer you get to civilization and, and all that, but. Um, yeah, I thought it was a good loop overall, and I think people have a really fun time doing it. So uh, we sure hope to see you out there and see you out on the Great Ohio Adventure Trail.